I hope you all are doing well. I'm just going to come on for a minute today and say that God says live. You will not die through this crisis. You will live to declare the word of the Lord. You will live. You will not die. Things are tough right now. Things are strange and weird, but you will live. You will not die. This will make you better. This won't kill you. It will only kill you if you have the mindset that it will kill you. Circumstances are what circumstances are, but the only thing you can change, the only thing you can affect is you. And you will get through this. You will live. We will as a generation get through this. We will as a society, as a world, get through this. You will live. You will not die. This will not kill you. This might change how things are done. This will change how things are done in some aspects but it will not kill you. It will just perfect you. That's what problems do. Problems perfect. They don't kill if you let them perfect you. If, they, if you let them show you lessons, they do, they do perfect you. I know it's hard. And I virtually hug you right now. And I virtually kiss you right now and say, girl, man, it will be okay. It's hard right now, but it will be okay. And you will not die. And you do not have permission to die in this process. When I, meet, when I say die, I mean emotionally, physically, financially. Because you could be alive physically, but dead emotionally. You could be alive physically, but dead spiritually. You could be alive physically and dead financially. You will live in all aspects. You will thrive in all aspects. You can. You will, I know it's hard, but you will get through it. Your family will get through it. Your pastor, your church will get through it. And it will teach us lessons that we have to learn. But I, I said this many times in previous videos. God didn't send coronavirus, but he's going to use COVID-19 for his glory. And I believe we'll be stronger, better, more powerful as a society. Trouble is often sent to show us what we're made of and who's really boss. See, I think that's why um, God, is, God is using coronavirus to teach us who we really are and, and who is really in charge, which is the Lord. And he is going to use this thing in a mighty way and we won't even recognize the world after this is done. There is going to be such a weight of glory that will hit, hit the world that that we won't even recognize it. I believe that, I don't know in what specific way, but I believe that God is using coronavirus to teach us our priorities and to teach us who he is. Hi, man. I, I'm, I'm your, sorry, I hope I got your name right. God is teaching us who 
he really is through this uh, COVID crisis. And at the end of this, we'll become a more loving society, we'll be a better society, and I truly believe strategy will, will arise from this that we'll be using for decades to come. I believe new ways of communication, new ways of being will arise from this. Um, I believe that God is actually, actually shaping us into who he wants us to be. There is nothing that God likes more than to perfect us, to show us who we are as children. And sometimes circumstances cause us to take away everything that is not important and leaves what is important. So so I've heard people say this before. People say, um, whatever can be shaken will be shaken and and the remnant will remain and I, I will to I totally agree with that. Coronavirus will show us who the remnant are who the real leaders are, who the real doctors are, who the real nurses are, who the real government leaders are. It, it is separating the men from the boys, I can, and the women from the girls, I can, I, I see that it, it, it going like that and I'm, I'm so excited to see what God is going to do in this time. And I'm so thrilled to see the innovation that churches are, are, are exig, 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 exhibiting at this time. Um, and I'm so excited to see what God is going to do at this time. And I praise him for what he's going to do. Have a good night, you guys. Take care. Bye. When peace I got and if my way when so going on it is well because God is on the throne it may not seem like it's well it may not be well right now but because of God is on the throne we have a hope that it is well it is well corona cannot win 
against the power of the blood of Jesus. I pray the blood of Jesus over you and your family, over everything that is concerning you, over your job, over everything. And I declare that nothing will defeat you. Nothing will otherwise overtake you. I declare that the Spirit of God will go with you wherever you go, whatever your whatever the sole of your feet shall tread, you will have it. I declare an influx of ideas in this time. I declare a a plethora of just innovation and ideas and strategy in this time. I pray that strategy be your your portion in this coronavirus. Strategy how to raise your children. Strategy how to love your spouse more. Strategy how to how to be with your family. I think one of the most amazing things that this coronavirus is kind of forcing us to do is just to kind of be with those because in in regularly busy, but this has forced us to to slow down and be with each other. And we will learn stuff about our husband, about our wife, about our children that we haven't learned before. So I declare knowledge about those around you. I declare even closer bonds to those around you. I declare even stronger marriages. I declare even the restoration of marriages. Because when you're together all the time and you're not going to work, um, unless you're a nurse or a medical professional um, or in attendant care or something like that, um, you get to learn so much more about your spouse, your friends, your whoever you live with. And I declare that this coronavirus will be fixing marriages because people will have no choice but to talk. Businesses are closed, everywhere is closed. And all and I and I believe that this coronavirus quarantine will open up the lines of communication between spouses, between children, between loved ones. I declare that we will find out things about our loved ones which we never knew. Good things, healthy things that we will um, that we will learn about each other and it'll broaden our horizons and take us to a much richer relational place. Gone are the is the room for superficial relationships. I think another thing coronavirus has already been doing is um, it's taking away all the superficial relationships that we've had, all the relationships that are just fluff, that don't really mean anything, that you just hang out together, but there's no substance. When you need someone, you understand who's really there for you. When, when your back is against the wall and you need groceries, you understand who's really there for you. You understand who your family is, who your friend is. And I declare that coronavirus will bring a, a deeper understanding of who your loved ones are around you. I declare peace, I declare joy, I declare love in a broad measure for you, Lord. And Lord, I just, may the peace of God that passes all understanding guard everyone that is watching this video, everyone's heart and mind. Lord God, God guide us guide our hearts, guide our, guide our minds to the truth that you want us to know. Let us not be ignorant, but let us not be full of fear. Um, Lord God, 
we need your truth in this time. Amongst all the things that we're hearing from the media and 24-hour news cycles, Lord, help us to decipher what's true so that we are educated on this virus, but let us not be overtaken by it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let us not be ignorant of this virus, but let us not be overtaken with fear and worry because those things are of the devil and those things are not to be. They're, hu they're human things, they really are, but they are not to drive. They can get in the car once in a while, but they cannot stay in the car. Um, let your spirit overtake us, Lord God. Overtake our minds in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, guys, I will see you later. Have a, have a great day. Hold on to God.